Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Truder, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield, where today uh, we're going to be taking on the second gym leader, the Wart type gym, and I'm feeling good about that. But, before we do that, just a few little bits and pieces, because uh, there has been a very, uh, very important change uh, between episodes, which is uh, my beautiful, wonderful, beloved rock son, Baldor, has grown up. A little bit. Though unfortunately, I can't actually show him evolving because Baldor is one of those Pokemon that evolves when you trade him. But if you trade him, then you don't get to see the evolution because it's happening on the far side. So Baldor went on a little bit of a holiday over to the Matophobia universe. It was a dark and terrible place. So basically he wanted to come straight back home. But he came back home stronger for his travels. Oh, look at him. Look at Gigalith. He's absolutely flipping beautiful and massive. And also his stats are now ludicrous. So up to now, Krabby's been the real hard hitter of the team. Level 25, attack of 68. Pretty damn solid, all things considered. Growlithe, still got some work to do there. 46 and 46, because he's, you know, a mixed attacker. So he's good at doing special and normal attacks. Then we go over to Stuffle. Also hits pretty damn hard. 52, you know, bit of work to do there. Gigalith, however, attack of 80. Defense of 80 flipping 4. This thing is... Uh, Oh, it's wonderful. And it also looks really badass, and I kind of flipping love him. And one more thing as well that someone kindly let me know about, which is... I forgot to actually, you know, just put a nose inside the daycare center and say hello. Which I should have done, because apparently they give you, like, an egg or something. Which I really should have known, because they've been doing that since my day. I believe that started with... Uh, was it Crystal? I think Crystal would have been the first one to do that. Because that was the game where you got the egg for... Yeah, it was either an Elekid, a Magby, or a Smoochum. So, yes, I should have known you were supposed to do that. It was pretty bloody obvious. Here we go, back to the breeding centre. Okay, so you are the lady who I actually leave the Pokemon with. Fine, and... Uh, hello over there. A Toxel! A real Toxel! I found an egg and carried it around with me. And it hatched into Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a really shocking Pokemon. And... Okay, I was expecting an egg, but no, I've just picked up a... a Toxel. Okay, so... Oh my goodness, you're adorable! You're like a sad dinosaur, but with a little lightning bolt on your head. Okay, I like you. Electric poison! Okay, maybe not a dinosaur, I'm not sure. That's a really cool typing. Okay, manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricity. The voltage is weak, but it can cause a tingling paralysis. Well, I am about to go into a water gym. Ah, uh, yes, of course. It is level one because it's literally just been hatched. And this one has... Uh, yeah, okay. Special defense up, defense down, but... All right, it's a bit of a mixed sweeper. So speed, special attack, and attack. I do like mixed sweepers. Okay, me and you, we could be friends, actually, and rattled. Dark, ghost, and bug-type moves scare the Pokemon and boost its speed stats. It's not a bad ability, you know. Okay. And wow, that's that's a lot of moves. Okay, with well, some of these like egg moves, because uh, that seems like a lot of moves for a level one Pokemon. Okay, send it to a box for now, because now we've actually seen one and got one. Oh, it said Tox Tox. And then I immediately... Ooh. Hello, you've got something else for me. Five... Ah, experience candies. That's fine. I am swimming in those. Okay, now this is a good sign. Toxel is well down in the Pokedex, which normally means uh, could potentially be, you know, uh, pretty good. So, uh, all right then, show me your habitat here. We've got ourselves... Okay, in the wild area, there's a whole bunch of them. So yeah, rather than being level one, I could pick one up, yeah, at a different higher level. Rain or storm, storm, just storm, storm, and storm. Okay, the Pokemon around that area tend to be about, yeah, level 30 or thereabouts. So if I just get myself the next badge... I might be able to go and get myself a Toxel at a decent level because, uh, yeah, the gentle nature is not really what I'm looking for for this thing. Also, oh, hang on, that's sun as well. Okay, so this spot up here, that's where I can get myself a Toxel because uh, basically, yeah, like nearly half the weather types, he would be showing up there. Gotcha. Okay, back to the gym. Let's get that done first because uh, I suspect we're ready for that without needing my new tiny electro dinosaur friends. And don't forget, of course, talk to terrifying ball man in order to get some free Pokeballs. And... Uh, go on, give me a free. 
No, I spoke to you last time. No more free Pokeballs for me, tragically. And here we go. Gym challenge. First up, whatever the little mission is. So, uh, what is the gym mission on this occasion? You have to change into your uniform. Okay, I'll go do that now. Hang on. And here we go. Ooh, that's some nice water. Okay, some form of uh, water-related puzzle as needs to be solved. Okay, this is more traditional gym fare right here. A little puzzle to sort out. I see switches uh, dotted about too. Uh, so, hello over there. The Holbury Pokemon Gym's mission is this. A challenging maze. You must reach the goal to clear the mission. Okay, I can't help but be a bit disappointed here because, uh, yeah, the first gym was like something I'd never really seen in a Pokemon game before. This is very traditional Pokemon fare right here. In fact, I'm pretty sure one of the gyms in the fourth generation had pretty much precisely this puzzle. So, water blocks the way, so obviously I need to go find to myself a lovely switch. But that means fighting some trainers. Okay, this is very traditional stuff. Got it. And in comes gym trainer Julia, who I'm going to guess has got herself some water type Pokemon. Yes, indeed. You're sending out a tadpole. Okay, well, um, unfortunately for you, I've got Roselia with me. Which I get the feeling is going to make this, uh... Quite flipping manageable, actually. Yes, basically I'm just going to murder your stupid tadpole. Okay, I feel like until we get to the gym leader, this is not going to be that challenging. Roselli is flipping got this. So, uh, if anything, maybe I should give someone else a go. Because yeah, Roselli is in a good place level-wise right now. Here we go, Krabby. This is a water gym, so you can have a go being up front. Okay, here we go. So, press button. So, naturally. Okay, so the button corresponding to the colour of the grate. No problem whatsoever. So, hit that button now. That now activates all of that. Hit this button a second time. And the way should therefore become open. Lovely. Okay, over here. Only one button. Oh, hang on. Two buttons I could press. So, if I press this one, that doesn't actually help me. That just means I can't make any more progress. So, that can't be the right answer. Right there. Gotta go round over here and yep. If there's a trainer in the way, that probably means I'm going in the right direction. And gym trainer Heather sends out- Oh, She's also sending out Krabby! Oh, it's Krabby on Krabby battle time! Okay, my Krabby has flipping got this. Alright, my Krabby's got this. Because my Krabby is gonna be faster than your Krabby. And can make your Krabby flipping flinch. You're using- Ooh, Whirlpool. Okay. I haven't got Whirlpool. Maybe that's actually the local TM for this gym. I don't know. So that's fine. I've got my leftovers. So I am healing off damage. But I think Whirlpool means... Yeah, you take a bit of damage between turns. That's fine. It should not be much. In fact, one more stomp should do the job. And... There we go. We were unlucky not to get the flinch there. But what can you do? Krabby, in all fairness, is not very often going to be making the best use out of flinch. Purely because... Uh, yeah, Krabby's not going to be fast. Krabby is slow already, and uh, my Krabby has actually, yeah, even got a slow nature. So my Krabby's not going to be going first most of the time. Aha! I see what we got going on here. A loop. So, uh, press the yellow button uh, right there. That opens uh, this path. However, let's have the red button now. That will open up this way forward. Uh, and that means I can now cut all the way through here. But... Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, round to blue buttons, I'm guessing. Okay, what's next? Excuse me, just just battle me, please. Come on, let's get this over with. Ooh, and it's Remoraid from the second generation, if I recall correctly. Never my favourite Pokemon, but did turn into Octillery, who was an octopus. And I like octopuses, so that's good. And ooh, Remoraid is faster than me, because I'm catastrophically slow. And that's it's very showy, very showy indeed. That small fish is getting pumped. And then I stepped on it, so it's dead. And Roselli gets up to level 27. Absolutely lovely. 68 special attack. Not bad. Not bad at all. And Krabby just heals off the damage. So yeah, Krabby's very good when you're stuck in a gym. Just because Krabby can easily just heal off damage for himself. Lovely. And a Tootle. Yes, I think we'll keep out Krabby. I'm pretty sure Tootles were slow. So I should be able to outspeed it regardless. So uh, just stomp on it. And there we go. Come on, let's get a flinch here. Let's get a flippin' flinch. And no, he's coming in for the bite. But that's not going to do much to a Krabby. No, not much at all. Lovely. Right, nice easy one right here. Okay, so round over here we go. Tap the red button. That opens up the blue switch and that would appear to be a lot. Because actually the blue is the bit at the end there. In which case, what's... What's all of this? Okay, what's... 
What's the point of this button? I don't know what the point of this button is, but... Ah, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Only reason I need the red out of the way right now is uh, this. So that... Aha! That actually activates a new blue thing. So now I need to loop round the long way. No, no, no. I understand. I understand what's going on here. I want to say I understand. Hang on. Do I? Maybe I don't. Hang on. I need the red again, but I can't get to the red because of... Ooh! Hang on. Hang on. Need to loop round the long way. I need to go back to the beginning and press the red button again. Because this is round to the... Or maybe not. Okay, before we do any of that business, reset the blue, we go here, and we push the yellow button one more time. Okay, now the yellow button's been pushed again, which is useful, which means now that over there is open to me. Okay, that's better. Now, now we do the red-blue thing. Okay, temporarily outwitted by the second gym puzzle. Well, that's just embarrassing. But... There we go. Got my way through. Love it. And through we go to the end. Okay, before we do this, check on the state of my Pokemon here. Krabby is good enough. That's absolutely fine. And through we go into the stadium itself. Oh yeah, gym mission cleared. Flippin' love it. Let's get out there and destroy ourselves. Nessa, I think her name was. So, oh, to the stadium. I just love that it feels like it's an event now. It's not just a building you go to when you get to a new town for a badge. It actually feels like, you know, a proper event that's built up to and people are excited for. I love the new stadium aesthetic to Pokemon gyms. It's great. Welcome on a gym challenger. I think you already realise, but I'm Nessa. Sorry to have made you look for me. I don't doubt my humble mission's difficulty, yet you cleared it. Your mind as a Pokemon trainer must be quite refined. No matter what kind of plan your refined mind may be plotting, my partner and I will be sure to sink it. Ooh, she's ready to destroy me. Okay, let's flip and make this happen because I think I'm flipping got this. All right, here we go. You're challenged by gym leader Nessa. What's she opening up with and do I know what it is? And Goldine from Generation 1. Okay, I do know what one of those is. Meanwhile, I'm opening up with my rock son Gigalith. Now, I know that's a weird choice, because Gigalith is weak to water, but I figured the first Pokemon she'd be sending out would not be that tough. So, Gigalith has got some time to set up, like, for example, getting Stealth Rock on the field. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Goldeen is not going to have flipping rapid spin. Don't confuse me. Damn it, I'm confused. Okay, even if I hurt myself in my confusion, I should still be able to get out a Stealth Rock before I flipping die. Okay, so we're going to be using Water Pulse a lot. That's a really, really annoying move if I can't get out Stealth Rock. That's going to be really embarrassing. And I'm not going to be able to get out Stealth Rock, am I? Okay, great. Just... Okay, I'm getting out the Stealth Rock game whether you want me to or not. Gigalith, drink this lemonade! Okay, Gigalith is back up to strength. One more Water Pulse coming in. I think that is a... Okay, that's not doing that much now. No, 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 not the bag. Get a Stealth Rock out, you stupid rocky bastard. Just one Stealth Rock. That's all I want. Just don't hurt yourself in your confusion once, please. And, uh, yep, yeah, confused. There we go. We got out Stealth Rock. Job done. So now, every time a new Pokemon changes in, it will take a tiny bit of damage. Good. Good, good, good. Now, let's just go for a Smackdown here. And Water Pulse coming in. Might well be able to finish off Gigalith, but honestly, if that does happen, it's mostly fine. And Gigalith is confused. Gigalith, you smack down. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt right here. Oh, nearly killed you in one go. Alright, go for a basic headbutt, please. And this may or may not finish me off. Need to if I get lucky. No, I'm fine. And Gigalith snapped out of confusion. Bloody finally. Goes for the headbutt. Should finish off the Goldeen. Beautiful. Okay. Bit of a messy start because of confusion. But whatever. We still got some good XP out of that. Gigalith, you can probably return at this point. So, uh, Aracuda. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to guess it's a water type. Because, you know, water gem. Okay. Roselia, it's time for you to be up. And here comes the Aracuda, whatever one of those is. And... Okay, it's like a, a little pike thing. Okay, it doesn't look that intimidating, and there we go. Takes a bit of damage just from the stealth rock. Now, let's start laying a trap 
for whatever her final Pokemon is. Let's get some Toxic Spikes out on the field. Because if we're going to be doing a gym battle here, we're going to be doing it properly. Now, what are you going to do at this point? Okay, Bite. How much is that going to hurt me? Not much. Okay, get a second level of Spikes down. That means it is now Toxic, not Basic Poison. So as a result of that, oh yeah. There we go. Now, now your final Pokemon is completely flipping Mega Boned. And also... You're poisoned anyway, because you bit something that's got spikes on it. So, basically, bad decision by you. Also, did I mention I've got the ability to basically drain your life force? Yeah, that's a thing I can do, by the way. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now, beautiful. So, Aracuda goes down, Roselia gets basically all her health back. Oh, beautiful. Just flipping beautiful. Right, goodbye, naff off, job done. And some more XP across the board. Good, good, good. Now, 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 a Dreadnought. Ooh, that's an evolved tutor, isn't it? Okay, so, if that's what you're planning to do, I don't think I'm going to leave out Roselia. All right, I think that would be a bit, you know, unfair. We're going to do this properly, damn it. One Pokemon versus one Pokemon. And I think I want to do uh, Krabby. Alright, that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to do Krabby because I have got a flipping plan. Looks like I'm down to one last Pokemon. I've been saving the best for last and I know you're going to Dynamax it. It's fine. Now, was this thing actually a water... Hang on, was it a water rock type? Okay, it gets poisoned. It takes some damage. Badly poisoned too. Okay, now... Now, 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 now we're in good shape because uh, I could Dynamax my Krabby. I mean, she's going to Dynamax, so actually, you know what? Let's just see what she does first. I'm just going to activate a Protect because you have been hit with Toxic. So at that point, I can basically just stall with Protect every other turn. So screw you. And here comes Mega Dreadnought. Lovely. So, he's flipping massive now, and I'm guessing he's about to do something really, really scary, but I don't really care because I can just say, hello, I'm protecting now, and he actually can't do anything to me. So, Krabby, use protect, and uh, what are you planning to do now at this point? Max strike, and uh, actually, I, I don't care. Oh, hang on. Hang the flip on. Hang the flip on here. Oh, protect doesn't work against Dynamax Pokemon. Okay, that's interesting. Or maybe it just doesn't protect if you take too much damage. I don't know. Maybe that's new. Still, you are going to start taking more and more poison damage, my friend. Okay, I'd say it's probably time to Dynamax. Yes. So, uh, hang on. What does Max Guard do precisely? So, uh, use to protect yourself from all damage. Chance of failing rises if used in succession. Okay, so that is just protect. Got it. Alternatively, Max Strike Normal. Max Steel Spike. That can actually raise allied Pokemon defense stats. Okay, yeah, he's Water Rock. So, uh, Steel's not very effective against Water. Super effective versus Rock. So, that's neutral, therefore. Yeah, sure, we'll go for it. See how much damage it does. So, Mega Krabby, I choose you! Oh, and here he comes. Here he flipping comes. Oh, yes. Giant Krabby. One of my favorite Pokemon. I mean, he's not as good as Giant Exeggutor would be. But he's still pretty Damn, good. Right, so now, now I've got all sorts of stuff going on here. Max Darkness. Okay, that is, uh, I don't know, presumably like Dark type attack? Yeah, neutral against me, but does make my special defense go down. Max Steel Spike. And Kaboom. Does a fair bit of damage right there. And that makes my, yeah, my defense go up. All right, and also I've still got leftovers, so I am still recovering as time went by. Okay, now I'm massive. Oh, Toxic's dying to have a bad effect on you, you stupid bastard. Okay, now I've actually not used Protect last turn. I'm going to give Max Guard another go. Because now I'm massive, hopefully it's effective. Because Max Guard should be able to see off Max Darkness. Yes, yes I can. And I can just stall. Because stalling works for me. Because, yeah, I'm getting my health back through Leftovers. He's losing his health through Toxic, and look at that. That's having more and more of an effect. And also, by the way, your three turns seem to have worn off, and mine actually haven't yet, so, um, 
that's kind of unfortunate for you, because now I'm going to flipping steel spike you. You stupid, stupid, oh, it's using water gun. Oh, bless you. Bless you for trying, but you are tiny, and now I shall flipping destroy you. And actually, I think it's going to be the poison that finishes him off. Krabby, meanwhile, yep, gets some defense up, but then, presumably, is going to be shrinking down as well, as it's now the turn after. And here comes the poison. Oh, basically, he just bled out on the field. Well, that's just flipping embarrassing. And my giant Krabby gets to win. Oh, level ups across the board there. Right, Krabby goes up to 68 attack. Very, very nice indeed. And, oh no, sorry, goes up to 70, in fact. Stuffle going up to 55. It'll do for now. Gigalith grows up to level 26. Congratulations, you contributed. Wow, look at that. Defense goes up by 4, attack by 3. Gigalith is now a flipping monster. And Esper also starts leveling up. I'm not 100% convinced by Esper. Like, yeah, level 21, just gaining 1 on each stat. That's not very good. I mean, those stats just aren't looking like they're doing the job to me. Wants to learn Psybeam, though. That's nice at the bare minimum. Yeah, you've got basically no attack. We'll just get rid of Fake Out. That's fine. And Krabby shrinks back down to the adorable Krabby that we all know and love. Fair enough. And we defeated Ghibli Danessa with a Water-type Pokemon. You just got out watered. Oh, but hello! Okay, stuff was evolving. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. Normally Pokemon with two stages. It's like, yeah, you have to wait until maybe level 30 or something. But okay, Stuffle evolved into Beware. Did Stuffle even fight in the gym? No, Stuffle didn't fight in the gym. Okay, if I'd have known Stuffle was about to evolve, I would have let Stuffle fight. Because, you know, evolving after a gym match, that would have been awesome. But okay, Stuffle is now big and mighty. And Beware wants to learn the move Bind. Oh my goodness, it wants to give people a big cuddle. That's amazing. But on the other hand, accuracy 85 is appalling. Power of 15 is not good. And yeah, two to five turns doing passive damage. I think we could do without that, actually. Maybe just don't give things a hug. Just like, you know, smash them in the face with strength or whatever. And oh, look at that. 85 attack. Oh, Stuffle, you have come good. How? How can this be? Now that I've battled you... I think I understand. Continue to seize victories in gym challenges with your Pokemon. You have an incredible spirit that may even be strong enough to challenge the champion. Oh, there we go. Let's have a nice handshake. Let's have a badge. Let's have a TM off ya. And presumably I get myself the... What's the official name of the badge here? It's going to be some form of water thing. And it is going to be officially... There it goes into the circle. What's it called? You can now catch Pokemon up to level 30. Yes, but what was the badge called? Never mind, apparently nobody cares. Okay, we know where we're going next. Back to Stoke-on-Trent to take on the Fire Gym Leader. John, my sincere congratulations for your victory over Gym Leader Nessa. Yes, indeed. I assume it's the, what, Water Pulse TM? No, Whirlpool. Should have predicted that because I did see that being used by Krabby and I don't have access to that myself. Fair enough. And the water uniform too, but I'm not sure that's for me. Ah, hang on, she said it at the end there. It was just the water badge. Okay, the badges have fairly unimaginative names. And that's a lot of hit points too. 107 hit points is a flipping lot. So okay, you've now got, yeah, 85 attack versus Gigalift's only 88 defense. Okay, so the team's starting to get somewhere. Ah, yes, that reminds me. You wanted to actually see me at the fish restaurant, didn't you? Good. I'm glad you reminded me about that, because I would have forgotten. Right, let's go and heal up at the Pokemon Center first, just in case there's some battling to be done inside, because, uh, yeah, we know that Bead is sort of working for this guy, so uh, he might be there ready to ambush me. Here we go, Fish Restaurant. Growlithe now up front, because, yeah, Growlithe's not got much fighting done recently, because it was a water-type gym. Hello over there. and Ooh, there's a nice view of the gym. That's lovely. So, uh, welcome to the seafood restaurant, the captain's table. All right, then. Okay, it's tiny. Right, I was expecting a bigger build than this. I swear it looks... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go outside for a second. Okay, this is actually an inverted building. Normally in video games, the exterior is smaller than the interior. For once, it's the other way round. Aha, and Sonya's here now. I suspect she's starting to grow suspicious of the chairman, so... Uh, let's see what we've got going on here. John, let's celebrate your recent victory. And you were invited too. You two know each other. That's great. Come now. 
Please be seated while I tell you more about my evil, evil plan, whatever it is precisely. Hullbury is a seafood town, which is kind of gross when you think about it, because presumably what we're eating is literally water-type Pokemon, and the gym leader uses water-type Pokemon, but whatever, it's fine. Naturally, if one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is uh, the local cuisine. Go on, slap a massive Magikarp in the middle of the table. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands uh, without her. And Sonya is sighing, and then she was saying there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing, it's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started travelling. A power spot detector! That's a device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Okay, I'm guessing I'm getting one of these at the end of this meeting. And naturally, of course, those are locations that allow a Pokemon to Dynamax. And presumably, that's why the gyms are built where they are. They're just built on top of power spots. Sonya, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. Okay, interesting. Understood, Chairman. I'll arrange a meeting with Ms. Sonya. However, I believe it's about time we get going, Chairman. And, oh, he hasn't even got to eat his fish yet. He actually came to a seafood restaurant. Let him eat the bloody fish. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to be done, there's no time like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. Okay, maybe she's actually the evil genius, and he's just pushed around by her, I'm not sure. Ooh, and Sonya's got a TM for me as well, marvellous. So, what have you got for me? Retaliate. Hang on, that was in an older generation, but... Is that like payback? I assume that's like payback. So, uh, the user gets revenge for... Ah, that's the user gets revenge for a fainted ally. So, if an ally fainted the previous turn, the move's power is increased. Gotcha. This is a good friend, perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, at Gym Challenger. Okay, there's so not much there aside from the fact we should probably expect to be running into Sonya again when we reach Hammerlock. Where's Hammerlock? Aha, presumably we're going there very, very soon indeed because uh, we'll be going there straight after we deal with Motorstoke. Now, meanwhile, I was having a look see around the actual Pokedex here and unfortunately, yeah. The bridge field, which is the area I wanted to actually pick up my new Pokemon in, my lovely little Toxel. Yeah, that's actually snowing right now. That's one of the conditions he won't appear in. But there is a storm going on at the Giant's Mirror. Ah, but the Giant's Mirror is one of the locations up there he does not appear in. Right, so we cannot catch another Toxel today, sadly. Oh, step outside and Hop is waiting for me. Okay, would you like another rival battle? Because you are very, very squishy indeed. And yes, indeed, Motorstoke, I know, someone just told me. Ah, but I can't go there directly. He's holed up in Galar Mine number two, undergoing some special training. Right, so we need to loop round the long way, the kind of the path on the right of the map, in order to actually get him. Got it, well that's fine, there's probably some new Pokemon there anyway. You see, the thing is, I'm feeling like I might want to make some changes to the team at some point. Some people I might be on the lookout to, uh, replace. Like, some people are very safe, like Groundhog is safe, Gigalith is safe, Beware is safe, Krabby is safe, but, 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 Roselia is very strong. Unquestionably, Roselia is strong, but I'm also getting the feeling Roselia is a bit boring. To be honest, Roselia just kind of comes out, kicks ass, job done. So I might be looking for a replacement for Roselia. And Esper, just not sure about those stats, seems a little bit flimsy to me. I mean, 36 is your highest stat at level 21, that's just, it's not great. So if I can find myself a Toxel, that might well be something I'm willing to consider. But for the time being, let's... Oh, I've just crashed. Let's actually just head into the mine and the route beyond it. And we'll see what we can find. And here we go. Galar mine number two. Now, if this is like the actual mine we saw previously... Oh my goodness! There's flipping Shuckles and uh, Crowagunks! Okay. Flipping hell, Crowagunks. Ah, but that's... Yeah, that's poison fighting. If I want a Toxel, that's poison. I've already got a Beware, that's fighting. I do like Crowagunk and his evolved form Toxicroak. They were in 4th gen. And I always quite liked them. I did quite like those guys. So, okay. Also, I think one of your abilities is Dry Skin. So, uh, let's just see if Fire is effective against you. Well, you've died anyway, so that's fine. Okay, let's try and catch one of those at the bare minimum, just for the Pokedex. Yeah, 253 XP for a wild Pokemon, that's not bad at all. But I did see Oflep. 
That's a shuckle. Right, so we'll be having a shuckle. Obviously, the best Pokemon. Okay, kick off with a nice Fire Fang here. This shouldn't kill it because the whole point of shuckles is they're very, very good defensively. But, yeah, Fire Fang can flinch the shuckle. So keep on doing that, please. Uh, two more of them should do the job. And I'm guessing you had a berry on you. And, uh, okay, you did indeed have... No, you had berry juice on you and using... Oh, roll out. Okay, fortunately that missed because that would really have hurt. And it's using Rock Throw on me, which is super effective but won't actually hurt because... Uh, yeah, Shuckle's interesting. If you're unfamiliar with Shuckle, hopefully we'll catch this one. We can discuss it in a second because uh, Shuckles are... weird. Okay, one bite because, yeah, no same type attack bonus. That should be even weaker. There we go. Try and choose... Uh oh let's try and use Roll Out again. That's not going to do much yet, but its power's going to go up over time. So, hang on. We really need to... Uh, need to catch this thing. Let's just try... Yeah, Great Ball. It is level 21 after all, so let's not treat it like it's nothing. And come on, Shuckle. You are going to be mine. I have caught a Shuckle. Right, so that's the end of the series. Basically, I've won at Pokemon now because I have a Shuckle. And Growlithe goes up to level 26 too. Absolutely flipping marvellous. Okay, so... Shuckles. These are odd creatures. A bug rock type and just look at those stats. So uh, yeah, special attack 10, attack 13, speed 11, defenses both over 100 at level 21. Now, you might be thinking, wow, that makes Shuckle a really effective tank. No, no it doesn't because its hit points are also catastrophically flipping low. 41 hit points at level 21 is really poor. So it can take some hits, absolutely, but it's nowhere near as good at being a wall as you might expect from those defensive stats. So, I mean, obviously we're going to be keeping it for the time being because it's a Shuckle and they're the best. A brave Shuckle. I mean, that's wonderful. That's just wonderful right there. I want a brave Shuckle. I mean, the only thing you can really do with this thing is like, I don't know, give it some leftovers, give it toxic, give it protect, just try and like outstall the opponent. But even with rollout, even if you can actually get rollout's power rising, it's not likely to be doing much. But you know what? It can stay with us for now. Esper, I'm just not feeling Esper, I'm afraid. So, uh, oh, it's also got, ah, Esper has the odd incense. That's a good quality of life thing. Send a Pokemon back to a box. The game actually prompts you, hey, did you actually want to lose the item it's holding? No, put that in my bag, please. That's absolutely fine. And there's also a weird whatever one of you is. Okay, I think I remember you. You're from fifth generation or something. Yeah, you're you're weird and I don't like you. And I'm also not sure what you actually are. But apparently I do know because the game's telling me, yeah, what is or is defective. Are you... Maybe you're rock water, I'm not sure. And you just used Fury Cutter, which would suggest maybe there's a bit of bug in there somewhere. Okay, Give it a fire fang. Let's just see how little this does. If it's nothing, that would suggest rock water. That's more than I expected. Maybe ground water? Okay, it's using bug and water type attacks. This thing's weird. Let's just catch them. We'll find out. Yes, rock water. I was right. Marvellous. But yeah, if I wanted a rock water type in my team, I'd really rather have like, you know, a Kabuto or an Omanyte. So I'm not convinced. I mean, there's actually a weirdly large number of rock water Pokemon. There's a load of them, actually. And oh, we've got ourselves beat. All right. So, hello over there. Would you like to fight, Bunny Chance? Because I'm totally happy to fight. And feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in battles against low-level opponents. Ooh, Oflep. Well, Okay, Gary, we'll deal with you later. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. Oh, go on. Let's flip and do this. Let's flip and do this. Yes, Pokemon battle. Naturally. Screw you. Now, let's see if he does the same thing again, which is all psychic type Pokemon, hence the purple color scheme. So, uh, Solosis. Yes. Okay, he's using the same Pokemon again. He doesn't, like, you know, change his team around between matches. Okay, so, just start doing some biting right there. That should, if we're lucky, yeah, basically start one-shotting his Pokemon. Good, 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 good. So, that's Psychic and, oh dear, looks like you've grown a bit. Okay, I'm defeating you in one hit, just like I did last time. Defeating the same Pokemon as last time, with the same Pokemon as last time. This is literally a repeat performance. 
Right, keep on keeping on here. It's the tiny weird goth child creature. Again, gonna get in one Psy Shock, which is... Uh, can that confuse? I'm not sure. Ooh, did some decent damage there. But I'm gonna finish you off momentarily. Growlithe may need to pull back for some of this. We'll have to see. Definitely his Pokemon are higher level than some I've been running into at the bare minimum. So, okay. I also saw he's got like... Four Pokemon now. I swear he only had three last time, so now uh, Patena. Okay, maybe Growlithe, time for you to actually come back, but then again. Okay, Gigalith is, yeah. I do have one small problem with my team, which is, uh, in terms of defense, it's a bit too, uh, yeah, weak to psychics. Gigalith has low special defense, but where's a fighting type? Krabby's got bad special defense. Roselia's on her way out. Growlithe has got reasonable but not remarkable special defense. I could do with some form of, yeah, good tank or wall or something, which I don't really have right now. I've got a good physical wall, but a special wall, not so much. Okay, Krabby, this one's on you. I mean, Krabby, I've got to believe you can take out the hat Pokemon, though it might well be faster than you. No, you're faster than it. Okay, it must be really, truly slow. Any chance of a flinch? And... What's she doing? Psybeam! Okay, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a Krabby right there. Oh, confusion! That's only a 10% chance! Boo! Boo, I say. Okay. If I hurt myself in my confusion, then that's Krabby dead. Tragically. Tragically right there. Yeah, okay. This guy has just exposed a weakness in my team. I need either a good special wall or I need a dark type. Alright, I'm glad he didn't get the kill, because he would have been insufferable if he had. And now, Panita. Okay, and... Hang on, no. Not Fire-type, because Galarian Panita. So, uh, Psychic-type, or possibly Fairy-type, or... I don't know. Gigalith, you're up. Alright, time for a proper battle. Let's see what you can do here. And here we go with... Oh my goodness! Unicorn Fairy Panita. I love it. I absolutely flippin' love it. Um, okay. Just basically smack it down. I love, by the way, how Gigalith doesn't dance. Gigalith is just sort of uh, there and just doesn't care. He doesn't care he's being attacked. Oh, Gigalith, you're flippin' amazing. And, uh, yeah, basically screw you. All right, now go in and bulldoze her. All right, just bulldoze that stupid thing. Yeah, you can heal up as much as you want. All right, I'm destroying your flipping Ponita. All right, it's not surviving this. And uh, there is a good smackdown. Beautiful. No, that was Bulldoze, not smackdown. It's the other thing. Okay, finish it off with another smackdown, please. And uh, confusion. Not that powerful psychic. If I'm very unlucky, I might get confused. No, I did not. And uh, smash your horse into the ground. And it's dead. Boom. Oh, good first run up by Gigalith right there. Loving Gigalith, it's doing the job. So, what excuses are you going to make this time? You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should let you win. Oh dear, bad loser. Pardon me, it seems I must take back my words. You're not weak, you just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. And uh, the league card. Okay, just toss it in the water, I don't want it. Now, where shall I go next to collect wishing stars? Okay, so we've run into him twice in mines, where he's trying to gather up wishing stars, where apparently, uh, I'm not sure why they'd be there, and okay, you really want to fight, fine, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I thought they kind of fell from the sky, so mines would be the last place they'd be, unless, of course, like, you know, they've been falling for millions of years or whatever. So, okay, maybe he's trying to monopolize them, so only him and Rose can actually do, you know, the whole business with Dynamaxing. He's trying to create a monopoly. All right, keep an eye on that. Ooh, and just appeared right there, a tiny, tiny Shellos from Generation 4, I believe. You are, what, water? Water ground, I think. Which means, yes, why would anyone ever use you when Swampert exists? No, never mind. Pure water type. Maybe it becomes water ground when it evolves. I swear it's water ground at some point. Okay. There's some wild Pokemon here that are scared and run away the moment they detect you. Okay. That's interesting. Also, oh! Alright. So as it turns out, that Pokemon was like a fake trap Voltorb thing, except... It's a Skunfisk, which is uh, 
Ground electric, I think. So, Krabby, you probably shouldn't be here anymore. Then again, it just used metal sound, a steel type attack. So, now I've no bloody clue. This is the Galarian version, so uh, it could be flipping anything. Let's see if Mega Drain is super effective. And... Uh, no. No, it's not. Maybe... Maybe ground metal, because it's like a bear trap or something? Okay, let's just get it in a ball, see if we can actually learn what it is. Because, yeah, knowing what it is means next time we run into it, we'll actually have, yeah, some good advice on the actual attack screen as to whether, you know, an attack will actually work or not. Oh, Krabby hits level 27 to 73 attack. Getting there. And Shuckle, the most important team member of all, picking up, wow, zero to attack, zero to special attack, zero to speed, but plus four to defense, plus five to special defense. Bless you, Shuckle. Bless you. Okay, ground steel. Fascinating. I swear it used to be electric back in the day. And yeah, a bit of an all-rounder here. I was about to say, yeah, a bit tanky, and defense is the highest stat. But, yeah, attack is fine. Special defense is reasonable, though that is being boosted by nature. Speed, not so good. I'm not that interested, though. I think you can just go back to the PC. I don't really want a weird bear trap thing in the team. And obviously we've also got a couple of workers inside the mine as well. So, okay, what have you got? Car coal, that is. Ah, I'm guessing you're the evolved form of roly Coley. Oh, you're... you're weird. Okay, so your predecessor was rock, but now you're glowing. Rock fire, perhaps? Okay, let's give Bubble Beam a go. Not exactly my most powerful attack, because, yeah, special rather than physical, but... If it's actually four times weak, then yeah, I'm guessing you're rock fire. Got it. So you're... I'm not keen on, yeah, the cart design. That's a bit on the weird side. That it's coal that evolves into, like, a minecart containing more coal that's also on fire. Yes, I'm glad I swapped that out for Gigalith. I'm happier with Gigalith. Now, that there's a normal Pokeball. So I'm pretty sure that one's safe. So Dusk Balls, useful in night or dark places. Good, good, good. Right, so watch out for tiny Pokeballs. Uh, they are, in fact, a trap. Any chance, by the way, there's anything special going on in the water? And it's a bar brooch from... Hang on, that was from uh, Generation 3? 4? I can't remember, but I think it evolves into... Uh, I think that is Water Ground. Because, yeah, there were a very large number of Water Grounds when Pokemon got done. Evolves in the long run into Wish Case, if I'm remembering correctly. So, uh, screw it, just stamp on its face. I'm not sure we need one of them. I mean, the thing is, I don't need to check every single, yeah, little kind of bubble thing. Because I've already got my water type of choice. I've got Krabby already. So, uh, okay, more water over there. Ooh! Hello! That's the evolved form over there. Right, so... Uh, didn't see a way to get to you previously. Maybe that means soon I'm getting Surf or whatever replaces Surf in this game. Because uh, I don't see a way to get round to you or whatever that is uh, back there otherwise. So, uh, okay. May as well just get your attention right now. And is that a Pokemon attached to the back of your... No, that's his hair, right. Yes, that was just her hair. Got it. Oh, and she's sending out a baby rog and roller. Oh, that's adorable. Right flipping there. Okay, so, uh, here's the weird thing. So, Metal Claw's not my most powerful attack, but it would be using my attack, but against its defense. Bubble Beam would be using my special attack, which is much worse, but would also be going up against its special defense, which is also much worse. Would also get me same type attack bonus. We'll give Bubble Beam a go. Let's try Bubble Beam, see how it does. If it's terrible, we'll go over to Metal Claw. So... Nope, easy enough kill there, lovely. And next up, Timber, fighting type Pokemon, Gen 4, I believe. So a basic stomp should do the job against you. This thing is not fast. I quite like this guy, actually. I remember quite liking him, but not sure I really want one in the team, to be honest, because, yeah. I'll give Beware a go first. Beware seems kind of hilarious, because it's a fighting type that just enjoys cuddles. And speaking of Beware, wow. Plus four to attack, plus four to hit points. That's that's a lot of health right there. That reminds me, I should really double check there's been no changes to typing due to evolution. Gigalith is still pure rock, absolutely fine. Yes, Beware is still normal and fighting, but despite being at level 28, has still never learnt a fighting attack. And there's a Grip Claw on the ground over here, so extends the duration of multi-turn attacks. Okay, we didn't learn Bind, that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Don't go too fast, watch out for... Oh, it's Team Yell. Right, so, what do you bastards want on this occasion? Is Marnie around here somewhere? 
Ah, wait. If Marnie's already got the fire badge, they might be trying to stop anybody getting to the gym leader down in the mines, because then no one else can challenge her. Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? I don't know if ridiculous Cockney's the right accent. They're supposed to have some form of regional accent. Crikey! That's really some... I think I might be right, actually. It might be ridiculous Cockney. I'd love to battle against a great trainer like you. Okay, let's flip into it. Oh, it's hot. Are we doing a double battle? If so, would you mind just, just waiting over there? Because you, you Never mind. It's okay. You can take part, Hop. It's fine. I'm sure you're very good. Team Vuvuzela, activate! Oh, I like they've both got Vuvuzelas. Right, so between them, there are now four Vuvuzelas. Okay, so that is... Uh, yeah, Evolved Zigzagoon and Evolved Nicket. Gotcha. So, uh, what are you sending out? You're still using the damn sheep, aren't you? Move on, Hop. Move on. The sheep is not actually that good in terms of, like, you know, competitive battling. It's adorable. I'll give you that. But no, just just stop. Please stop. Okay, I'm just going to stamp on this thing. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. We're just going to get rid of that. It's got basically no defense. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. So in we come with a Night Slash. That's doing nothing. Snarl. That is... Ooh surprisingly powerful, actually. And my special attack went down. Okay. I'm not worried about my special attack being low. That's that's fine. Can we one-shot this thing? No, not even close. Okay. Maybe that thing is more powerful than I'm giving it credit. That did uh, a lot of damage right there. That wasn't bad at all. Might even knock out my Krabby. In fact, if you're going to double kick him again, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to protect this turn. So I'm just going to protect myself. So protect, if we're lucky, they'll be coming for me again. And uh, what are you guys doing? Yes, yes you are. You're trying to go for me because I'm the one with no special defense. And Snarl, I get protected. And the sheep gets hit because screw it, whatever. And if you'd like to double kick him to death right now, that'd be great. No, you're going to tackle him. Well, I guess it technically did the job, sure. And Krabby hits level 28. Oh, we are just flying up in the levels right now. And Shuckle, level 23, the important one, of course. The thing is, it's worth just stalling with Krabby because, yeah, I get myself the leftovers, which is great. And, uh, okay, Team Yell is starting to become uh, not dangerous, but more dangerous than they used to be. All right, Krabby, see what you can do here. Let's just try and take out this guy because uh, he's actually proving a little bit on the dangerous side. Going for the Fury Swipes there. Going to take out the Sheep. Okay, please send out something that's not the sheep. And more Night Slash. Yeah, that Night Slash is really flipping hurting, actually. In comes a Stomp. Probably can't one-shot it, no. It's going to be two shots right there. That's absolutely fine. I might be able to take one more, but if they focus on me, Krabby could be about to go down. In comes a Corvisquire, pure flying type. And uh, the opposing team is now too nervous to eat berries. Oh, good, I'm sure that shall save us. Uh, Okay, go for a stomp against the Evolved Zigzagoon thing. Which I've never been sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. That's a really weird word. So, oh, okay, went for me. You're going to go with... Yeah, basically, they're just ganging up on me. Oh, no, they're not. They went for Corvisquire. Good. Corvisquire using Pluck does some decent damage there. My stomp should finish off... Yeah, I've never been sure how you're supposed to pronounce that. It's very odd indeed. Right, down you go anyway. That's fine. And Pancham comes out, so that is a fighting type right there. Fighting Dark, I believe. In fact, you know what, Krabby? Come back. You've done pretty well right now, but we now know what we're going up against here. I'd say Beware might be able to do a very good job against all of this nonsense. So, uh, Beware, out you come with your giant flipping pile of XP. Give him a nice big cuddle. And, oh dear, that was a critical. That's the best you could do. Oh no, oh dear. Right, well that's, that's sad. Why didn't you go for the other one with Pluck? I believe that's a flying type attack and there's, I think he's a fighting type, right? Why are you so terrible, Hop? You're so terrible at this. Right, screw everything. Brutal Swing would be, ah, not very effective. Screw it, just use Strength to finish off the Pan Cham. That surely has got to be a one-hit finish. Oh no, you're doing nothing. Oh, this is embarrassing for you. Right, now use Strength. Great big cuddle. I feel like that's going to be one-shotting a lot of stuff. Yeah, beware with its ridiculous attack stat. Actually getting same type attack bonus on Strength. 
That's that's pretty damn solid. Growlithe hits level 27. Hasn't had a new move in a while. We should probably be expecting one of those sooner or later. Also, I no longer have a label coming out of my ass, which is great. That's magnificent news for Beware. Oh, Flip! Oh, it's happening! My son! My beautiful, beautiful crab son! Yes! I didn't realise you evolved this early. I thought it was like level 31 or something. Oh, Krabby! Oh, Krabby, you're so good! Oh, it's a Kingler! I've got a Kingler! Yes, I've got a Kingler! The best Pokémon of all! Its oversized claw is very powerful, and when it's not in battle, its claw is magnificent anyway, because it's just great to have a massive claw. Yep, the Pokédex bang on there. So, that's Team Yell got rid of, and I'm guessing Kabu is just somewhere around here. Pop's going further in. Right, we may need to fight him yet. And, ooh, Wild Dreadnoughts. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Bring Gigalith up front here, because, yeah, actually, ground-type attacks should be super effective against you. And that should be a nice pile of XP right there. Oh, wow, 720 XP for the lead Pokémon, 300 plus for the rest of them. Okay, if you see a Dreadnought, fight it. Gotcha. Now, that does remind me. Okay, Kingler. 74 hit points, that's never been its strong suit. It's always been a little bit lacking in hit points. I'll be honest, yes, that's fine. But the new stats are now going to be 91 attack. Okay, that there, that is respectable. When paired with a decent 72 defense. So, uh, yeah, Gigalith is level 28, that's 94 and 90. But with really, really low speed. Kingler is much better on the speed, even with a disadvantageous nature. So, yeah, 48 speed is... Uh, not terrible. It's not fast, but it's not terrible either. So 91 attack, 72 defense right there. Moving down to beware. Yeah, that's a lot slower as well. Defense only 51, speed only 38. So attack of 89 as well. Actually, that's really interesting. So uh, Kingler has got the attack on beware. It's got the defense on beware. It's got the speed. Special defense is 40 versus, yeah, 49 special defense and also obviously a ton more HP. So, okay, Beware has got advantages too. It's a bit more good at the old defense, especially special defense. Bit more of an all-rounder. And, ooh, interesting. Fluffy, was that always my ability? I'm not sure if that was always my ability, but okay. Uh, just in case it wasn't, Fluffy halves the damage taken from moves that make direct contact, doubles that to fire to moves. Yes, that was always my ability. I just forgot about it. So, don't send him out in the fire gem. And I think Kingler does have multiple abilities it can have. Shell armor is arguably not the best one, but screw it. It's a good nature, alright? He's a good, brave Kingler. Also, it looks like evolving fills up your health meter, because I swear Krabby was definitely not at full strength. I pulled him back because he was getting weak, so... Okay, evolution is a health top-up. Who knew? Well, probably me. I don't know how long that goes back. Oh, Kingler, here we go. Here we flipping go. Right, give it a metal claw, Kingler. Against this here Shuckle. So, oh, even with all that defense, tearing it apart. It's going to try and use Berry Juice, obviously. But that's fine. Oh, it might just be able to survive one more as well using Safeguard. Okay, that's fine. I'm not actually interested in stage conditions. I'm just going to claw you in the face until you die. In fact, there is a lot of XP to be got out of this place. It's about, yeah, 500 XP per Shuckle. And then 700 XP for... Oh. Something over there. I just saw you. A star piece. Lovely. Just sell that for some free money. Yeah, there's some really good XP to be got out of these shuckles and whatnot. But before we actually waste too much more PP or whatever, let's see what else we... What else have we got over here? You really want to take me on, don't you? And that is a bag of soft sand. Okay. Boost ground type attacks can be very, very useful indeed. Gotcha. And you really want to fight, don't you? Fair enough. I'll murder you if you insist. Kingler levels up from that, and that is, yeah, plus three to attack, plus two to defense. Okay, not bad. Would have liked to have seen four, just for fun, on my first level up, but still not bad. And avoid you, you stupid bastard. And, okay, yeah, more of them sneak around the back, sneak around the back, sneak around the back, sneak around the back. Don't get spotted. Right, whoever you are, we're going to beat you up right now. Steam power can send any opponent flying. Okay, he's got a steam-powered Pokemon, so he claims. No, that's just a mole. That's that's not actually steam powered. He's he's just a mole. A mole who I am now planning to stomp on. There we flipping go. Okay, well that was just embarrassing for you. Okay, you could have brought out like I don't know, the cog Pokémon 
That could arguably, maybe, be steam-powered. Ooh, and Onyx. Okay, I can handle Onyx because my Bubble Beam should tear through that. Because Onyx is primarily about physical defense, terrible at the old special. Which I will admit is a problem my actual team has right now. So uh, we do need to uh, sort that one out sooner rather than later. But Bubble Beam will tear apart Onyx for the time being. Oh, and a new TM or possibly a TR. TM49, Sand Tomb. Okay, that is... Hang on. Use your traps target inside. Ah, that's basically, yeah, a ground-type attack that's going to do damage over time. Got it. I just accidentally walked into one of the bloody bear traps again. Right, we'll kill ya. Now we know what you are, it's going to be much easier to do. And 700 XP and 300 for the rest of the team for those little bear traps as well. That's... That's good. This is a good place to do some training. Got it. So, okay. We've got another one of those down. Keep on keeping on. Avoid you... And uh, what else have we got here? Oh, Hop is here. Okay, why is Hop here? Do you want to battle by any chance, my friend? Uh, okay, Kingler is fine to continue if need be. Hop, what are you... Oh, no. Indeed, I think my suspicion might just be right. Thank you for helping out my training team, Yala. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of Karkol hard at work. Yeah. They're trying to keep him busy down over here, so no one else can complete the gym challenge. So, they naff off, and apparently, he's heard of us. We're starting to get a bit of a reputation here. Hop and John, am I right? I'm just trading right up into the last moment, so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. Alright, so, uh, fire-type Pokemon, and uh, we know what he's got with him now. A rock fire type, so uh, that is ludicrously weak to water. So I'm not too worried going into his battle, because I'm guessing that Pokemon standing next to him means they're trying to flag, Hey, this is his main Pokemon. As a result, he'll be using that during the fight. Okay, so he's not ready to fight us, but he's suggesting we should get a good rest at the hotel. So maybe we need to do something at the hotel for plot reasons before we fight him. Okay, and apparently we're moving straight the flip on. Okay, that was the end of the mine. So that was a very small area indeed. Gotcha. Though yes, when I can actually surf, there might be more to it than that. And that car call from before... Guessing he must have been here on a job. You don't know about poker jobs by now, right? Yes, it's just the gig economy, but with more slavery. And this here is the Motostoke outskirts. Okay, so... Ooh. Oh, my. Lots of brand new Pokemon, including Pseudo Wudo, Coughing, Noctowl. Okay, so lots of old school Pokemon dotted about here. Gotcha, and some trainers too. Now, okay, here's the thing. I was originally thinking... I could do without adding coughing into my team. Because I love coughing. Coughing and wheezing are flipping magnificent. But, 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 but. He's a physical wall. Not so good at the special defense. I'm not sure there's a place for him in the team. And I don't need pseudo Woodo. I've already got Gigalith. Noctowls are not spectacular. So, okay. Let's just make sure, before we do anything here, that I can make it back to town nice and easy. So, uh, it's just, you know... Sneak past all of these here trainers. And oh, there's more going on down over there. Keep your eye out for anything else. Just those for now. But maybe that's because, yeah, it's night at the minute. Maybe if I come back during the day, those Noctowls won't be here. Still, there's got to be plenty of XP going around for defeating all of them. And of course, I've got to cross over this bridge. You know what? I'll just take out these trainers while I'm here. And Growlithe can be up front because Growlithe is falling a little bit behind in terms of levels right now. And hang on, there's, there's something in the grass back there. I hadn't seen before. What is that? Is that the hat creature that Beads got? Well, whatever. We need to take out you first. So you're sending out your small electric puppy. Oh, those are annoying to fight. Because, yeah, if they get in one nuzzle, that's guaranteed paralysis. So uh, let's see if we can actually just cause it to flinch with Firefang, if we're lucky. And Spark. Oh, that's a 30% chance of paralysis. Darn it. Yeah, electric types. Annoying to fight. And he just roared at me too, uh, pushing Growlithe back so something else has to come out instead. Shuckle. Great. Just great. Right, so Shuckle now has to fight. Okay, um, just try tossing rocks at it. See if that... You're faster than it! You're slower than a Shuckle! And you've been killed by one! This is just embarrassing for you! And then one Swoobat, which I believe is the evolved form of Woobat, so... Uh... Go on then. Only level 24. We should be able to just stomp on that. Air Cutter is a special attack, so uh, Kingler can just about take that. 
But yeah, it is going to hurt him at least a little bit. And leftovers will do a good job keeping him around. I love Kingler. I've got a Kingler. I'm so happy about this. Yes, hello over there. What are you? Are you actually that hat Pokemon? Because I think you might actually be that hat Pokemon right there. Yes, you are that hat Pokemon. So, I know what you are. You are a psychic type. Growlithe still paralyzed, isn't he? Yes, I forgot to sort that out. Right, let's just very quickly sort that out. Right, one Fire Fang gets him down to still in yellow, but only just. One Great Ball, see if that does the job. And it does. Okay, let's check if you've got a secondary typing, because... Uh, if we're going to be fighting Bead a lot, we better understand what, you know, we're taking on right now. Pure Psychic. If this Pokemon senses a strong emotion, it will run away as fast as it can. It prefers areas without people. Okay, so basically what we're saying is, taking it into a series of stadiums for the Pokemon League Challenge is catastrophically cruel. Good! Bead's a monster. Ability is Healer. In a doubles battle, it might be able to heal status conditions of its friends. Okay, and uh, primarily about special attacking, which is very common for a Psychic. I think I saw something shiny over here. Bottle of PP up. Very, very nice indeed. And hello uh, over there. There's something else buried in the grass too. So you are a uh, Salandit. Okay. So uh, some sort of dark lizard or something. Okay. Give it a bite. See what happens. And... Okay. Not very effective. So... Oh! Okay. From the red in its back... Dark fire, maybe. Okay, keep going. Just keep going here. We'll see what actually happens next. And yeah, definitely fire. But I have flash fire, so now my fire attack's just got more powerful. Uh, go for a bite. Wait, is, is dark not very effective against dark? I really hope dark's not very effective against dark, otherwise I might be about to kill this thing. And I just killed this thing. Right, dark is fine against dark. Oops. Fine. We'll get another one down the line. That's fine. And Growlithe goes up to level 28. Good. We did need to get that thing up a bit. And Retaliate too. Ah, uh, yes. We just got the TM for that a second ago. So, for Fainted Allies. It's not spectacular really, is it? But then again, I suppose, uh, if you are bringing it in because something else just died. I've not actually used Howl. And uh, raising attack by a single level is not great. To be honest, like if it was like Dragon Dance where it was speed and attack up, I'd be willing to consider it. Let's go for it, because if I change my mind, the move remember is now one everywhere and two free. So we can just give it a go and we'll see how we feel about it. And yep, there's another Salandit right there. Okay, good. Let's just see what you've got to do. And also, are you wearing a tie? Are you a dark flaming lizard wearing a tie? Okay, interesting. And yeah, Retaliate is fine, Bite is fine. Okay, let's just use one of them in that case. Now, I think we should be able to get away with one Flame Wheel, hopefully. Come on, Growlithe, don't kill it. Don't kill it, don't. Never mind, we'll catch another one soon. Speak of the devil, yes, these are the ones that throw themselves at you in this area. Got it. Now, it does have the rather nice Poison Fang ability, though. That's kind of good. So, okay, bit of variety on this thing. I'm not replacing Growlithe, though. All right, well, okay, 99% I'm not replacing Growlithe, but I do like to... Growlithe is just too good at killing these things. Fine. Bring on the next one. Sooner or later, we'll manage to not kill one of you. But it is not this day. Still, Kingler goes up to level 30, plus 3 to attack, plus 3 to defense. Not bad at all. Okay, we finally got one down to low health. Good. So get a great ball on that. Let's see what its stats are like. No, not a dark type at all. Instead, uh, poison fire. So, yeah. I'm feeling like, as I was just saying, we've got a bit of a weakness to psychic right now. Not really what I need to add into the team. Still, let's actually have a look at its stats and whatnot. This one has a preference for defense over speed, but special attacker for the most part. Pretty fast, pretty good special attack. Attack is uh, fine. So, uh, in theory, could be a bit of a mixed sweeper. But I feel like I've already got that going on with Growlithe. And uh, for level 22, those stats do not feel great. Right, one police officer needs to be taken out as well. So, ah, he's put Growlithe out up front, which is good. Because I actually just switched to uh, Gigalith. So that's it's not going to work out well for you. Oh yeah, Intimidate. Let's see how well that works for you. And he's going to try and flame wheel me, but... 
That's not going to do much, to be honest. Didn't get the burn. Unlucky for him. And I suspect, yes, that's a nice easy kill regardless. Still, it's nice to see Growlithe being used by the police officers because he's literally a police dog in Pokemon Britain. And Roselia wants to learn Giga Drain. Go on, just in case we're keeping Roselia around just a little bit longer. Sure. How much uh, PP does that have? 10. Used to be 5, so I've improved that. Mega Drain 2, that used to be 10, now it's 15. Yeah, go on. We'll replace Mega Drain with Giga Drain. Right, and now it's just straight over the bridge. So we can just take the bike. Be keeping out for any sparklies. I saw a sparkly. Grab the sparklies. Genius Feather. So increases special attack base points of a single Pokemon. Okay, remember we've got that. Might be useful, and I suspect we are back to... There we go, back to Motorstone. Good. Good, good, good. Because there's something very, very important we need to do here, which is... Oh, sorry, I just ran into you with my bike. Um, need to nip back to the Pokemon Center because there's something important we need to do. You see, sometimes when Pokemon evolve, they have new abilities they can access through the move rememberer. Because Game Freak just set moves that the Pokemon would like learn at level 1, but it would never learn naturally. But like through the move rememberer, you can access them. So I'm just going to check my newly evolved Pokemon to see if there's anything new I can access. Here we go, jackpot. Kingla has access to Hammer Arm. So fighting, 90% accurate, 100 power, physical, lowers user's speed. Ooh, oh yeah. Now that, that's what we wanted to see, together with Wide Guard. So user and its allies are protected from wide-ranging attacks for one turn. So, uh, like protect, but against any move that would hit multiple things. Okay, we'll leave that be, but Hammer Arm, yes, we'll be having that. Then again, is it time to get rid of Protect? Because Protect is fine, but I'd rather have more coverage. Then again, Fighting works well against Rocks, so does Steel. But if I'm taking on Fairies, Steel can be useful. Yeah, let's get rid of uh, Protect. I can do without Protect, as I say. I can change my mind and just swap around moves freely in any Pokemon Center. So uh, we'll give this a go and see how I feel about it. But now... I have got one a hell of a massive attack. Beautiful. And I'm really hoping maybe Beware has some form of, you know, fighting move. Because now Kingler's got a fighting move, but... No, Beware just doesn't get a fighting move. Fine, whatever. Okay, the weather is still as it was out in the wild area. Now, the question is, if I actually go to the hotel and sleep unless it becomes like a new Pokemon day... Does the weather maybe change, or is that more based on, like, you know, real world time? It won't change till tomorrow. I don't know, but that's worth a go. Yes, indeed, as I suspected, plot stuff going on at the hotel right now. Hello there, Marnie. Challenger John, right? Out giving it your all, even this later? Hey, out with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. And go on, then. We will take on Marnie. And to oh, I figured she might have flipping cheerleaders. Wicked! Got some fight in you, have ya? Alright, let's take out her, see what she's got, because I'm guessing we'll be taking her on at the end of the game too. So, Crowagunk! Alright, who have I actually got at first? And Growlithe. Okay, I think one of his abilities does make him resistant to water, but weaker to fire. And the other one is like, anticipate, and he's not shuddering or reacting in any way. So I suspect this is the weak to fire one. So, go in. Yep, there we go. One hit kill. Nice and easy. Okay, so, comes back. Remember what she's got. She is important. And here we go for the next. Scraggy, that is fighting, I believe. So, yeah, go on. We'll just keep this out. Okay, so, is Bead more about psychic and you're more about fighting? Is that what we've got going on here? Like, some of your rivals sort of act like gym leaders you fight repeatedly or something. In comes a big old headbutt. It's going to hurt a bit. He's got high attack. Not too bad. We're fine. So, in we go for Fire Fang again. Lovely. Now, let's see if I'm right here. And uh, more Peko. I don't know what a more Peko is, so we'll just keep Growlithe out for the time being. And uh, that's why we ain't giving up, Gavna. All right, in comes more Peko. And I don't know what the hell you are, aside from being a weird Pikachu variant. I mean, bite it and see what happens. And oh... Okay, is she about to Dynamax it? Can she do that? And uh, no, she's going to bite me. And Ooh, that really hurts. Okay, it's fast. 
which it's outspeeding me, and then it became angry or something. Okay, fascinating. Give another bite, but I think you're about to go down. Yeah, I'm guessing if it gets hit, then it goes into its alternative angry form or something. Okay, well, okay, it only lasts for one turn. Gotcha. Uh, who wants to go out in that case? Uh, beware. You can go out, sure. So, here we flipping go. I don't know what typing this thing is. That's the problem. I mean, just, yeah, strength at it. It's not a ghost. So, try doing that. Thundershock. Okay, might be electric. Might be a straight-up Pikachu variant. Gotcha. And punched in the face. Okay, punching it in the face works pretty well. Good. You beat me. Guess you must not be too bad after all, eh? I guess I better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get to sleep too. All right, bye, Marnie. And oh... Okay, that was the... Oh, sorry. That was her weird Pikachu thing saying that. I thought someone was just yelling something really weird in the background. Right. Okay. Job done. I've healed up. I assume it's now the following Pokemon day. And... Uh, yes, indeed. The next morning. Morning, John. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Carboo's league card's supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Right, thank you very much, Marnie. So I've got myself a league card right there. Lovely. And something else too for the battle. All right, two burn heals. Lovely. Thank you very, very much indeed. In fact, she's being very nice and supportive there, because of course, yeah, the next guy is the fire gym leader, so she's giving me something useful. Thank you very much, that's very thoughtful. Now, time to check if I was right, because, hang on, hang on, hang on. One, step outside, check it's actually the following Pokemon Day, and yes indeed, it's no longer night, it's Pokemon Day. Now, is that by any chance rejuggled the wild area? No, tragically, it's still snowing there, it's still storming at the giant's mirror, it's still sunny there, so exactly the same as it was. Boo, boo I say. I mean, if worse comes to worst, there's another one over here next to Hammerlock, though that is presumably Route 7 or thereabouts, so I might be getting there for quite some time. Okay, well, I'm in no rush to take on the gym leader immediately, all right? Let's actually go back to that area where we were a second ago. Now we can go back to the outskirts. Check if there's... Oh, hang on. I saw a sparkly and a resist feather. Apparently, I'm not being told what that does, because I'm supposed to already know, but sadly, I forgot. Right, let's just check if there's anything else showing up here, because presumably, uh, during the day, there wouldn't be, like, Noctowls. No, the Noctowls are just there anyway. Got it. Okay, just gonna have a looksy roundy, see what else we got. I will say this area is a bit annoying to explore, because, yeah, you're just trying to actually get Pokemon to appear in the grass, because some Pokemon appear in the grass that aren't in the overworld, and you just keep getting attacked by the bloody small lizard creatures. Because they're everywhere and they just beeline at you. Anyway, speaking of bees, beware just managed to level up and wants to learn flail. Flail's kind of garbage. That gets stronger as you get weaker, right? Yeah, I'm not convinced I want that. That's fine. Oops, so far just a handful of Croagunks, Rog and Rollers, a few other bits and pieces. Nothing we haven't seen before. But Gigalith wants to learn Rock Slider. Yes, bit inaccurate if I recall correctly, but powerful. Yeah, 90 accuracy, yeah. For only 75 power, not great, but I guess it does come with a good chance of flinching. You know what, we'll get rid of Headbutt, because the strength of Headbutt is flinching. And no one's going to be slower than a Gigalith most of the time. Oh, hello! We found something here. Right, so you're a... Uh, I don't know. Steel fighting something. I think you might have been from the fifth generation. You kind of vaguely ring a bell. Okay, don't ground it. That might kill it. Just hit it with... Uh, a smackdown. That should be not very effective. Okay, you're weird. Let's see if we can just catch one of you, figure out what you are. Dark Steel type. Okay, that's... that's interesting. I was thinking from the fact, you know, it's literally coming at me with knives, it might be a fighting type, but... Okay, interesting. So a pack of these Pokemon forms to serve a bi-sharp boss. I'm guessing that's the evolved form. So they train diligently, dreaming of one day taking the lead. Dark Steel, that's... that's actually a pretty good typing. Okay, that's that's really interesting, actually. I mean, very weak to fighting. Ludicrously weak to fighting, but keep it away from fighting types, that's... Yeah, that's got a lot of coverage. This particular one's got good defense at the expense of special attack, but yeah, that's clearly its worst stat anyway, so that's actually not that bad at all. That is Impish. 
should remember that one. That's actually a well-known one. Okay, so uh, Metal Claw, not bad. Torment is not spectacular. Fury Cutter is sort of fine. I'll give it a think. I don't know whether I want this, but it's not bad. And attack stat going up sharply when its stats are lower. That's not a bad ability. The stuff I like here, actually. The stuff I like. Okay, here's a surprise. I've come across Satan. I've found a demon. Okay, um... What are you? Dark type, I guess. Right, okay. So, yes. Basically, in the game of Pokemon, you could choose between a bunny, a tadpole, a monkey, or say, screw all of those options, all glory to Satan. Well, obviously, yes. We're going to be catching Satan because we need a dark type. And we've just picked up that steel dark type. If you're a dark type too, okay, we might have options here. So, uh, dark type. What's good at not killing dark types? Because I'm going to be honest, with limbs that skinny, I'm guessing your defenses ain't up to much. Here we go, Shuckle. You'll be perfect for this. And it's using Assurance. That's a dark type attack, I'm pretty sure. Good. Okay, so now, the ultimate battle of the ages. Shuckle versus the devil. Oh, it's got Swagger as well. Swagger's a fun move because, yeah, massively increases my attack, but makes me confused. So if you use it on a special attacker, can be really, really damn good. Though you've accidentally made Shuckle much more powerful. Okay, fine, I guess. Also, Fake Tears. Hang on, what does Fake Tears do again? That is uh, Special Defense Harshly Down. Okay, you've got some good supporting moves here. And there we go, Impy Dim was caught. Okay, Dark Fairy. That's, that's interesting. Sneaks into people's homes, stealing things and feasting on negative energy of the frustrated occupants. Okay, I love him. I love him and he may just have to join the team here because he's basically just a demon who's an asshole. And I'm still not 100% sure how fairy types will work, but fairies, I think, have perfect resistance to dragon. Dark has perfect resistance to psychic, so uh, having two full resistances and a Pokemon that would work very well against bead, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, bashful nature, which is neutral. So as a result of that, okay, so uh, yeah, speed is fine. More about special attack and attack. Special defense is... Uh, Pretty good. Defense is its weak point, but that doesn't really bother me because, uh, yeah, I've got plenty of physical defense on the team already, but a competent special defender who's also got two immunities going on, okay, and uh, gives priority to a status move. Prankster. So can... Ooh, that's nice. That's pretty nice indeed. Okay, we've got... We've got stuff I like here. I'll tell you what, let's... Let's add you to the team for the time being because, uh, yeah, hang on, Shuckle, I'm sorry about this, but I feel like no, actually, as it turns out. And I tell you what, I was saying Roselia needs to be retired. So, Roselia is going to be got rid of in favour of uh, this little guy, Pawniard. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take both of them with me for the time being, and we're going to see which of them I like better because, ooh. Okay. Pawniard definitely hits a lot flipping harder. The only real downside is, uh, yeah, the actual special attack, which doesn't matter. Then again, you're clearly a mixed attacker, which is why you're not exactly as good. Okay, and maybe you've got more evolving to do, alright? I don't know how many stages any of these guys have got. So, uh, okay, I tell you what, that'll do for now, I'd say. Yes, that'll do for the time being. And one last thing, I just need to have a little bit of a looksy roundy, check if any unusual weather conditions I've not seen before are leading to, uh, yeah, anything new uh, showing up here. But I imagine we should be fine. This all looks like that's usual. Tim Poles over here, nothing dramatic. Because, yes, yeah, some of the higher level Pokemon I can now actually catch going up to level 30, though... Uh, Presumably, level 35 will be for the next badge, and that's going to be the big one right there. Yep, seen all you guys before. That's fine. Nothing too dramatic yet, but we do have one of the special raids going on. The symbol meaning you might get lucky and find a much rarer Pokemon here. So, okay. What have you got for me? Ghost. That might be... Misdreavous, perhaps? Go on, then. Sure, why not? And what do we have here? Oh! It's you! It's the cup of tea, Pokemon! Yes! 
Yes, I've been waiting for this! Yes, 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 yes! It's just a cup of tea, but it's a Pokemon! And it's massive! Think of how much tea is inside this thing right now! That's so much tea! Yes, 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 yes! I'm so glad I came out here today! Right, Max Darkness, hit the giant cup of tea! Destroy it! It must be mine! Come on, Growlithe! I believe in you! You can take out the cup of tea! Max Darkness! And the cup of tea! Oh, flip! The cup of tea just got shattered! Which is maybe a bit on the concerning side, actually, because uh, that would suggest that actually it's, you know, not that strong if I can kill it with one attack. But screw it, we're definitely catching it, and, uh, okay, what's the best ball I've got? I mean, I've still got anything better than the Great Balls, to be honest. Please, please, come on, you only get one chance at this. Come on, cup of tea, join my party. Yes, come on, ghost tea, get in the ball, ghost tea, hold down and be, down and be. Down and B, down and B, down and B, come on, come on cup of tea, come on cup of tea, you're the one new Pokemon I definitely knew I want instead of it, and yes, I've got a cup of tea, and it even comes with the flipping TM or possibly TR for Shadow Ball, so I can actually give that to it straight away, make it, oh flip me. Oh, it's even got a really good nature. This is flipping meant to be. It's a special attacker that's actually got its special attack up and defense down. That's, that's perfect. That's, what is that? Is that mild? Yes, mild. I've just stumbled across literally the perfect synesty on my first go. Welcome to the cocking team, you magnificent bastards. And also, any physical attack to this Pokemon lowers its defense, which is already terrible, but sharply raises speed, which is... Uh, not awful, to be honest. It's better than its special defense. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Comes with Mega Drain. Okay, fascinating. Together with Astonish. Aromatic Mist. Oh my goodness, it can just make the battlefield smell of tea. This is the best Pokemon. And uh, Withdraw, raising its defense. I'm not sure that's going to work, Sinistee. That's, that's not going to fly. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome to the team. Obviously, that's being added to the party and... Oh, I need to make this decision earlier than I thought I did. Okay, we're keeping Impudimp because he's basically Satan. So yes, we're keeping Satan and I'm so sorry, but the stapler is going back to a box. Oh, and speak of the devil, I'm guessing you're a by sharp right there. Okay, so I could just get one of those if I wanted one of those, so that's fine. Oh no, the Bronzors. I wanted a Bronzor, but... Maybe I do, maybe I... Okay, we might come back for a bronze or down the line. I don't know. Also, hang the flip on here. I was just coming up to the bridge area where it's snowing, but hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If you rush into an area on a bike, you can force things of the previous weather type to spawn. Is that... Is that what I was looking for? Over there. Hello. Are you... Oh, no, no, you're not. You're one of the polar bears. I thought I just tricked one of the toxels into spawning because they can spawn in this area during sunlight and in this area right here it is sunny and if you rush into an area you can sometimes get pokemon of the previous weather type to spawn in before the new ones load up but it looks like this bit of grass is it's probably too far away because that is the little bears and the ice cream cone and diddly diddly dee darn it i thought i might be able to trick the game there but okay we're getting into we're getting into difficult situations now because, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, I've got some Pokemon I really... Hang on, what the flip are you over there? I don't know what you... What are you? What? Oh, I think that might just be a Whalemar. Okay, fine, just the pre-evolved Whale Lord. Fine, what have you. Okay, so I suspect that, yeah, we're now getting into difficult, difficult territory. There's a bunch of Torkoals. Torkoals are cool, but not that good. I can do without. Yeah. So, now we're getting into difficult choices. Because I'm going to be honest, I kind of love all of these guys. All of these guys are absolutely flipping amazing. But, there's also Bronzong, who I would love, love to have on the team. I love Bronzongs, they're absolutely fantastic. And, uh, there's Toxels. So, uh, some form of like, yeah, poison electric sweeper thing. I know I've got one, but I've not got one with the best nature. Right now, I wouldn't mind catching one that's a little bit higher level or whatnot. So, uh, then again, do I want Toxel that much? I mean, I've already done the water gym now. I mean, Toxel's fine, but 
I feel like in some ways it's just been slightly blown out of the water by my new acquisitions here, by Sinisty and Impidimp. In which case, if I wanted to add uh, a Bronzong, where would it go? What would it replace? What could I get rid of at this point? Oh, that's... that's difficult. That's so difficult. I mean, I can't get rid of Kingler. And Beware's been doing a really, really good job. But Kingler does have... Could I get rid of Beware for a Bronzong? Oh, this is... This is tough stuff. Because, yeah, the problem I've got here... In fact, I've just made the problem worse. So the problem I identified earlier, I've just made worse. This thing got no defense whatsoever. This thing not only has no defense, it gets progressively weaker as it gets attacked. This thing has got... A bit of defense, but not too much. This thing has got good physical defense, very low special defense. This thing, not great on the defense. This thing, okay, not bad. Not bad on special defense, actually. Pretty good special defense. So, uh, Gigalith, my physical wall is also my best special wall right now. But, okay, my brain is telling me Beware might need to go at some point. Beware might need to go. Oh, that would be, that would be terrible. Can I bear to do that? I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now. Next time, we will be taking on the Stoke-on-Trent Gym Challenge. I don't need to come up with a decision as to whether I want to go down to the giant seat and catch myself a bronze Because I believe down there they were about level 32 or thereabouts. So I can't catch one yet anyway. But after the gym challenge, I will be able to. And I'm not going to deny... Beware has been really, really, really good, but on the other hand, it's been a little bit dull. It's a fighting type that hasn't learnt any fighting type moves. It just sort of comes out and does a lot of ass kicking, which is great, but maybe I'd prefer an actual proper wall and tank and whatever. Especially now that I've just... You know what? We'll make that decision next time, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Pokemon Shield. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.